Hi friends, welcome back to the Duck Hill Workshop. My name is Ben, and today I'm giving you a quick update about the new the timber frame. It's been over a year since I've put anything about this, and we haven't made a ton of progress. Um, starting the sawmill business last year really took a lot of our time, but we've gotten back to it early this spring, end of the winter. The building has a roof, and it doesn't have walls. You can see there's no siding yet, but we just picked up some thousand board feet of, of red pine in Hayward, Wisconsin from our friend Nate, and we're gonna be cutting siding soon. But before we get to that, I wanted to tell you where we are, how we got here, and that's what we're gonna do right now. So we're gonna get you caught up to speed, and then the next video will be about cutting siding. So let's get into it. All right, here's where we started. So much chainsaw milling. It just, takes forever. Um, the amount of time it takes is wasn't conducive to getting this frame actually built in a timely manner. If we were in the woods and this was our only option, great. However, we decided to hire a local sawmill, Rubens Customs Sawmill out of Hastings. Uh, we've already posted a video about that. I'll link it here. Uh, Matt cut all of the timbers for us. Um, we after we bought our own sawmill, we did end up cutting a couple more timbers um, and then all of our rafters we cut on our own along with all of the siding or the reefing material. Oh yes, this is how we actually started clearing out our mortises, hogging out the waste, but drilling these out was a big positive bit. Um, and even with an awesome drill, you can see that this was not a not a fast process either. So it did eventually lead us to build uh, or to buy a, a Nikita chain mortiser, which I did an unboxing for, uh, and I'll link it here. I really enjoy chiseling out mortises. Uh, however, I will say that chiseling out white pine or any softwood is far more enjoyable than chiseling out oak. And these are all red and burr oak uh, posts. I really love chiseling out mortises. Uh, however, I will say that cutting in any softwood is infinitely more enjoyable than cutting in oak. And that's what these timbers are. They're all red oak and red and burr oak. A little bit of hackberry, but still, white pine's where it's at. Here you see a little bit of chain mortise action, cleaning out some more mortises. That's the, the wall plates and the ridge beam. This was sometime in November that we were assembling this, so we got the, the ridge beam stood up. We started putting rafters on early December. There's the final spruce rafters. And here comes the ceiling boards. We screwed them right into the rafters and then we put a vapor barrier and furring strips before we added the board and batten roof. Look at those beautiful spruce boards. It has started snowing. Kevin's up on the roof. Kevin, where are you? Wave. Kevin's up on the roof. He's starting to lay down the the spacers um, for the actual board and batten roof. Um, hopefully, we'll make some progress on that. Uh, the snow is a couple hours early, and I think I've got clients coming in, so I got to go talk to some people, sell some stuff, I hope, and uh, then put the tarp on the mill. So, progress update to come soon.
Happy Sunday, friends. Big news. Uh, hold on, hold on, focus. There. Kevin just finished screwing down the battens, the last few boards and the battens. Woo! Woo! <laughs> For the roof. Uh, that means the south side's done and we'll have to finish battens on the north side. Um, kind of learned our lesson that we should have done those as we went along. And now we got to clean the snow off the north side and go back up and put those in place. And then we'll do a little ridge cap and somewhere in all of that we'll frame up so we can start doing siding once we get the, the logs to cut to, to siding boards. It's amazing how much material these take when you're doing stuff like this. So way more than we thought. All right, there we go, friends. That is everything. We are up to date. The timber frame shed is standing. It has most of the roof up. We still need to finish battens on the north side. The pine tar to seal the roof and the siding is on its way. And we have all the logs to cut siding from. It's all red pine from Hayward, Wisconsin. So thank you for that, Nate. And that's gonna be our project in the next week or two. Be sure if you enjoy, if you've enjoyed the first couple videos, if you're curious about what comes next, how to hang siding, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notification for when the next video comes out. I promise it'll be sooner than a year. Until next time.